Hi everyone, I'm going to make an art journal page today uh, in my mixed media uh, notebook, uh, this one, and I want some black background. And I was playing around and I stumbled upon a nice trick with magazine pages, and I want to show you what I am, um, what I mean. And it seems like, well, magazine pages are. Uh, notoriously glossy and hard to work with so if I'm using them I'm always uh, using some kind of sandpaper on them and I had something underneath and when I've sanded it picked up the detail so I figured well if it picked that detail I can use a um, stencil underneath magazine pages and make them into something more interesting I hope you can see here I've used this stencil underneath this magazine page and the the darker uh, the page uh, the better the imprint here is the again the same stencil underneath this page and here this was my first try and I've used another stencil here in the back and also stamped this uh, butterflies to add to the whole mix and now I've got a paper that I can use in any kind of mixed media project so this is what I've played with and I want to show you, you how I'm doing it just so you will see and here I've got some stencils and someone asked me where do I get these small stencils these were ordered from uh, Aliexpress and there are lots of them and they are very cheap and you can also check for uh, stencils in not under crafts or arts uh, uh, look for them in cooking because then they are even cheaper these are supposed to be uh, for decorating cakes and it's sold also in crafts but uh, if you buy it under uh, decorating cakes it's uh, cheaper don't know why so I've got uh, this uh, stencil and I've got this uh, page so I'm putting it here and just scraping away and I'm sorry about the noise and it picks all the details from the stencil so you can do small stencils, you can do large stencils, whatever you feel like it. And with whatever pages you've got from a magazine, it doesn't have to be a fashion magazine. It can be for all a, it can be a motorcycle magazine. It doesn't really matter. Now, of course, I prefer if I had a solid background like here, or mostly solid, because then I get uh, more details, and here it interferes with the image that is printed, but I think that I can uh, still use it and do some nice things. So, uh, I'm going to start... I, I want some black background I think it would be a nice challenge so I'm starting with uh, this piece and I'm just going to glue uh, pieces of torn paper this is a, going to be another project of using your scraps and I'm using a Mickey matte medium by liquitex that just because i have it and i need to use it before it dries or something don't re even remember why i bought it because most of the time i just use white simple glue but whatever i'll use this so here we have our first first piece of black paper, paper with some design on it and let's take another piece from what I've done right now I'm going to take tear up this one and I'm gonna 
glue it here I'm also putting uh, on top just to seal everything in place and let's take another uh, piece of paper now I try to avoid uh, all kinds of uh, logos and things like that but you don't you can't always but I'm I know that everything is going to get covered with other stuff. This is just a background, so doesn't really, really matter. <laughs> we'll see what happens. And let's see, maybe a piece of this one, it's more grayish. Yeah. Yeah. Not a lot of uh, hey reason behind this I'm just playing around and hoping that my black background has a little details that I've picked with the scrapping so this is it nothing to it let's see I want I, I have this a uh, paper from a magazine and I've got gold here so it's going to go great uh, with this so I'm going to again uh, take where did I put it here it is the sanding paper it's a very fine sanding paper uh, I don't know uh, the number I just had it and that's what I'm using I've placed my stencil underneath the part that has the gold because I know I want to use it. And it moved, but it's okay. And now I'm going to use it again here where I've got more gold going on. Black and gold, it seems like this is the theme of my background. So let's see. I hope I'm in frame and that you can see what I'm doing. Just so, so you know, uh, the scrapping is leaving a little bit of dust, so maybe you should uh, take a baby wipe and go over everything. Right now, I wasn't quite prepared, and I've got dust everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's hope it's in control now. And I want another piece. I'll probably stamp more gold all around the piece so it will correspond with these pieces. Right now I want to cover everything with black because I want a black background with details but back <laughs> black background. 
and here I don't have any details I didn't do any kind of stenciling but that's okay I'll trim the excess later kind of looks like a mess right now I know I need more pieces to play with Just one more piece, I think, and we'll be done. Trying to be quick about it. <laughs> So we can move on. Okay, so we've got the black background with uh, some kind of details from the stenciling and I'm going to let it dry before I'm uh, going forward with the next layer. I'll be back. I'm back. So this is dry. I want to add more details. I really like how uh, the gold butterflies that I've stamped before are looking on my page so I'm going to go with it I've got the same butterfly here and I also picked another stamp to work on the page I'm using a gold ink pen this is from Hobbycraft I've got it like three years and it's still going strong so if you can get it in Hobbycraft this is uh, just great and let's see just going to stamp in several places don't really care and it's not supposed to be a very good print i've got a lot of texture now here from uh, the magazine pages this is just adding more uh, detail to the background I'm also overlapping, I'm just adding to the whole thing. Yeah, I've done a lot of stamping of this swirly uh, stamp in the corners. I feel like it's framing my page and helping. Um, the general <laughs> look of it so now I want to do something else and I've picked some uh, stencils and these are very very simple stencils they are from cardboard but I use them all the time even with acrylics and I've got a gold Posca pen here that I'm thinking can uh, help me do some swirly things here and I think because it's a very large uh, pattern I'll just do for now only the contour and see how it looks before I'm going in with more 
gold let's see yeah it just adds a little bit of interest like it uh, this and I can also add some of my own it doesn't have to be just the stencil so let's see more of the same detail only for the other side and so it can it's hardly uh, seen here I'm just adding where I think I need more details there is no rules to it there are no rules <sighs> sometimes my English is so terrible when I'm not concentrating enough and let's see maybe this one here just to finish the page right now I'm just in the stage of uh, adding details to the background it's more like more stamping even though I'm using stencils so of details here and let's see <laughs> what did I want to do next I wanted some words but I am not sure which what color to pick for this and what to use we'll see I leave it a B I have got some image that I want here I had a peacock uh, on this paper napkin that I really wanted to use only if I used it uh, straight from the paper napkin then it would fade because it will become uh, translucent a little bit so what I've done in advance I've picked the image and just glued it to a printer paper and fussy cut it so now I'm going to attach this uh, peacock here and I'm thinking I'll just do it again with the matte medium liquid text and a brush a soft brush I'm continuing with the mid medium so I won't have uh, an area that will be more uh, well it won't be matte because if I'll switch now for uh, the white glue it won't look the same so I'm sticking with the mid medium and I'm also going over my image not only underneath I'm also going on top and it's uh, mm, well it's <laughs> it's a little bit uh, curling so I'm putting pressure so it will stay in place and stick down so here we go and now 
that I have this uh, image here I know that I need to use a part of the colors that I have here uh, all over the page so I will have uh, co some consistency and that it will speak in the same language that's the best <laughs> explanation that I can give you so I'm going to uh, let this dry and find colors to work that will uh, work with this uh, peacock I'll be back I'm back and here are the words that I want to use at least uh, two of them we'll see I want here this and I don't know if it will work I want a, I've got the posco, a gold Posca pen I've got this green Posca pen and I've got this uh, orange uh, zig uh, acrylic uh, pen which is like Posca pens only by zig and I hope it will uh, work with these colors here and let's see I'm thinking of doing let's see if it's straight like starting only the top to put a little bit of accent of the gold although it can disappear because I've got a lot of the gold in the back when I've added details so maybe it won't be seen quite so good and now I'm taking the green I think I'll go over the gold it's just you can't see it enough so I'm going to put the green in several places and then add the orange so my letters won't be a block of one color and they will be more interesting and I'm not really concerned <laughs> where it goes rushing through it so I can do more okay let's switch to the orange and hope that it will work if not I will uh, just take an acrylic paint and just stencil like in the simple way that you stencil <laughs> The orange is not that great, but I'll wait to lift. When I lift it, I'll see how it looks. I hope it will uh, pop up more on, with the black uh, background, but it doesn't seem to react that way. Maybe if I'll do another layer. Mm, it's still wet and my hand is getting inside it. Something is not going so well. I think I need to try and use some baby wipe here and do this too again and maybe here also didn't go so well okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to let this dry completely before I'm trying anything else because I really don't like what's going on here 
and I'll be back. I'm back and this is dry so I can try and salvage it another another way. So I'm going to place a the stencil again and I'm going to use acrylic paint this time in the hopes that this will work. Let's see. Maybe just place it somewhere. And I still want to use a more than one a color. So I've got here some orange and here is the green and I'm gonna start with the orange with the makeup sponge and let's hope for the best let's see still don't like it okay so the only thing that's left to do is stencil with gesso and only then uh, use the color so it will stand out more than what it's uh, going on now. So I'm still leaving the stencil here and now I'm just going to pick some gesso. And that's what I'm going to do in the hopes that this will work and we'll have a nice base. I think that I've put too much gesso on my makeup sponge and I'm worried that it's slipped underneath uh, the stencil and now I won't have a crisp uh, print, lettering, whatever <laughs> here. It slipped underneath. It's giving me trouble today. I'm gonna leave it be. And I will just take a permanent black marker and go over the edges and this is it. <laughs> I, I can't uh, deal with it anymore. So I'm going to uh, do the same thing here. I'm going to do this love. I'm just going to try and be more careful with the amount I'm putting on my sponge and now I want where do I want it? care here Okay, I need for this to dry completely before I'm doing anything else about it. I'm moving this aside for now because I still want to work on this page. I'm not completely satisfied with what's going on here. So I've got some uh, gold acrylic paint here in this uh, bottle with very uh, small opening and I'm thinking of just going over some things to make them pop let's hope it will work let's try it first here I need a pin it's probably stuck okay things are not going my way this time Oh, 
what's up with it? Like something is stuck inside. Okay, let's hope now it will work. Again, not planned, I'm just wanting to give it a little bit more definition and not completely satisfied with the gold Posca pencil. I'm just adding to the whole thing. Maybe a little bit here. It doesn't have to be accurate, just to add something to the whole. I'm going to turn this around so I won't put my hand on something that is still wet. I'm a genius that way. I'm always putting my hand where it's still wet. Maybe go around the page, very not straight, something very loose, and framing the whole thing. Yeah, I kind of like it. <laughs> definitely better now I only need to for this to dry to work on my lettering here and I think I will call it a day I'll be back I'm back and as you can see I <laughs> started uh, coloring the letters here and I've just once everything was dry I just went in again with the stencil and here it is and I'm just dipping it into the orange and doing part of the letter the left side of the letter with the orange and then I'm picking the green just so it would be more interesting and as I said will correspond with the colors I've got here so now I'm picking the green and stenciling it here and it's kind of also blends together I don't care this is my last uh, <laughs> effort to save this thing and what I'm thinking is I want a uh, several areas more darker and I'm gonna try doing it I've got this is from the cheap store it's like gelatos these are some kind of it looks like crayons and they are water reactive and I'm going to put this here and take a brush 
with water where is my spray I'm not putting it uh, where uh, the black is I just want to pick a little bit of water and go and add a little bit more in several places I don't know if it will work I just need the letters to pop up more and I don't want to go I've I thought about using permanent marker and decided against it I'm trying this <laughs> and let's hope it will work I'm just adding in several places and I still got water on my uh, paintbrush I don't want too much water otherwise it it doesn't uh, it's too diluted to do anything so in several places where the gesso went and I don't want it I'm just going over Let's hope this will work. And I'm thinking that I want darker edges, so I'm also now adding a little bit to the corners, and I need more. It's not an exact science, it just the way I feel it should look. So I'm adding where I think it needs just a little bit more black. I've got uh, lines that I don't like I just I'm just going with the black and softening the whole thing but that's it now the only thing I want to do now is I want here I've got these stickers I think Diane sent me this and I think the colors are just beautiful and work with the whole thing so I'm going to use this sticker here yeah and this is it <laughs> oh, the lettering it just gave me trouble uh, a little bit but I think this is quite nice right now so I'm leaving it be and that's it i hope you liked it i hope you'll try uh, doing the same thing with the with pages from a magazine and play with it so this is it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now